Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Virtual Skills and I am Latiful Bari with you. In this video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox on Windows operating system. To do so, we need to download a couple of files. Let's do it first. Just open your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox in one tab and Kali Linux in other tab. Open the first link here, virtualbox.org. Now click on download from the left menu to ensure that if there is any latest release. In this space, you need to download two files. The first one is Windows Host and the second one, VirtualBox Extension Pack. Let's download these files. Now open kali.org in other tab. Click on download here. In this page, if you scroll down, you will find different versions and downloadable files. As I am using 64 bits, I will do with the first link Kali Linux 64 bits installer. It's really a big file, almost 4 GB. So I am pausing this video here as I have already downloaded all these three files. So make sure you have downloaded all these latest files like this. As you can see, I have already installed the VirtualBox in my Windows. And I have already made two videos on VirtualBox. The first one is how to install Windows 10 on VirtualBox. And the other one is how to install Android operating system on VirtualBox. And you can also see these videos from my channel. But don't worry, it's very easy to install, pretty straightforward. You just need to press some next button to install it, that's all. Ok, I'm showing you very quickly. Just click to run it, then press next, 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 yes, and install. And during this installation process, you should allow if there is any pop-up message appears. And finally, click on finish. Now open the virtual box. It's a very light software with user-friendly interface. Now click on files and preferences. Here click on extensions and add. Now find out the VirtualBox extension pack that you have downloaded earlier and click open. Install it. You must agree with their license agreement. Now allow this program in your PC. It will take just a few seconds. And you can see it successfully installed. Click OK. So we are done with the extension pack. Let's install the Kali Linux now. Click on new here. Give a name to your new operating system. In type option, keep it Linux. And in version, change it to Debian 64. Click next. In this step, you need to select a memory size. I recommend you to keep it at least 2 GB RAM. You can also keep it up to the green bar. Actually, it depends on your PC configuration. Click next. Here, keep it as default. Create a virtual hard disk now. In this space, also keep it as default. VDI, virtual box disk image. Click next. Here, choose Dynamically Allocated. You should also read this upper text to understand the differences between the fixed size and the Dynamically Allocated option. Now click Next. In this step, try to give it at least 50GB virtual hard disk to your new operating system. You can also give it more. Actually, it depends on your needs. Now click on Create. Well, we are done with the basic configurations. 
Now it's time to set some advanced settings for a smooth functioning. Here select your operating system if you have multiple in your virtual box. Now click on settings. Here in general menu click on advanced. Now change this to drop down menu to bidirectional so that you can copy paste and drag and drop files from your windows to Kali Linux and Kali Linux to Windows. Now go to your system menu. Here just keep optical and hard disk selected. Now click on processor. I recommend you to keep it at least 2 core CPU. You can also keep it up to the green bar. Once again, it depends on your PC configuration. Now click on display. Here increase your video memory to the maximum. Now click on storage. Select the empty storage here and click on this disk icon in the optical drive. Here choose a disk file. Here find out the Kali Linux ISO file that you have downloaded earlier and click open. We are done with the settings here. Click OK to finish. Now select your operating system and click on start. In this space, select the Kali Linux file and click on start. Well in this step, I will recommend you to go with the graphical installation as it is the most popular one. Just press enter. Well this process may take some time. Select your preferable language and click continue. Select your country here and click continue. Here select your keyboard map. I'll go with the American English as it is the most common. Click on continue like before. Well this installation process will take some time. Now you have nothing to do, just wait. In this space, you need to give a host name to your network. I'll keep it as default and continue. Here keep it blank and continue. In this step, you need to set up your username and password. Now select your preferable time zone and click continue. Well, it may take some time. In this step, you need to configure your hard disk partition. I would love to go with the first one. Use enter disk and click on continue. Here select the disk to partition and click on continue again. In this step, keep it as default as it is recommended for new user and click on continue. Here, your new operating system will be installed in primary disk. Select finish partitioning and click on continue. Now give the permission, I mean select yes and continue. This installation process will take some time, so be patient. In this step, I'll go with the Kali's default desktop environment. You can also select the Plasma or No. I think the best option is to keep it as default and click continue. Well this time it will take really a good amount of time. You should sit back and get some rest. Now I'll resume the recording and get back to you. Hey welcome back. Here select yes and continue. Now select the bootloader and continue.
Well, finally our installation is complete. It's time to boot our new operating system. Click on continue. You don't need to do anything here, just wait. Well now, log in with your username and password that you have set before. Here is our new Kali Linux operating system. And you can see it's all functioning smoothly. I can make it full screen. Also, I am able to drag and drop files from my Windows to Kali Linux operating system. But in some cases, people may face some common problems like full screening and copy paste option may not work. If you are facing such problems after installation, then follow these steps. Click on device here and click on guest edition CD image. And a new icon will be appeared like this. Click to open it. Now select all files and copy to your download folder. It's ok, now close this window. Now click here to open terminal. It's like windows command option. You can also navigate it from here. Now just follow these codes. CD downloads. Make sure the D is the capital here. By this code, we have accessed in our download folder. Now type ls and press enter. From this list, we'll install vbox linux edition.ram file. Now type this csmod code to make it executable. Don't worry, I have attached all these codes in the description. You just need to copy and paste. Now type this sudo command as it is and press enter. Now give your password and press enter. Here write yes and press enter again. Well our setup is completed. You may close your terminal and restart your Kali Linux operating system. Now it's working perfectly. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned.